Hello and welcome to this short presentation on the book of me written by you. My name is Julie Goucher. Thanks. Background. Oh, I started this journey with the book of me towards the end of 2012. I was approached and asked if I could write something and that's exactly what was asked of me. Can you write something that will engage our professional people to help them engage with their clients? And I had around four to six weeks in which to come up with the plan and as I was writing the plan it didn't feel you know you get that feeling when it didn't feel quite right and I was about a week from giving the presentation to the group and saying is this what you want when I was in my study one day and I moved the memorial journal that I kept after my grandmother passed away in 1995 we'd been very close so that journal helped me get through a really tough time and as I moved it, I started looking through the pages and I suddenly thought, actually, this is it. This is what they need in order to get their staff members to connect with their client group. And therefore, we have the book of me written by you. The group started at the beginning of January and we met every two weeks for six months, finishing at the end of June. During that time, each time we met, I delivered two prompts to the group. And for the first couple of weeks, they weren't pretty, they weren't engaged. They all knew each other, but they weren't engaged enough to share a lot of detail. But they discussed the prompts. They discussed the two prompts together. They then worked on one prompt and took the other one home with them. Or some people worked on both prompts in the group and then worked on the rest of the prompts at home. And then when we met again the two weeks later, we talked through how they found the prompts, were there any issues, were there any other prompts that had kind of sprung up through the process and the difficulties or concerns they perhaps had. And then we issued two more prompts. Now, some of the prompts were perhaps fairly deep. Some of the prompts appear to be trivial. Um, I guess it's around what you make of the prompt as we work through this group. So let's get cracking and see what it's all about. It's an opportunity to revisit those memories. It's an opportunity to explore yourself and self-reflect. On some of the prompts, it's going to enable discussion with perhaps other family members or perhaps give you an opportunity to talk and look for other details. If there are any other details, look at those home movies, those types of things, and enable discussion with your children, grandchildren, cousins, siblings, whatever. It's also going to enable you to be creative if you are that way inclined. In the group, we have some scrapbookers, we have some crafty people, people that are very, um, are the doing sort as opposed to the writing sort. Um, I'm sadly a writing sort, but I wish I was a doing sort. That's just the way we are, we're made, I guess. Um, but this is going to enable you to do those those things that you enjoy doing as a way of self-expression and is providing a medium of course to provide you a leg provides a legacy for future generations so it's delivered weekly on a saturday morning at the beginning of the day so between 12 and 12 30 a.m uk time um, first of all, it plops up onto the Anglers Rest blog, which is anglersrest.net. A little later in the day, Thomas at Genie Bloggers will release the prompt on the Genie Bloggers site. And the prompt will be delivered at some point through the day on Saturday on the Book of Me Facebook group. And we'll talk a bit about the Facebook group in a moment. But I think what's essential here is that actually, whilst you don't have to join the Facebook group, you can just go to a blog, you can take the prompt and you can work on it on your own. Um, that's not really kind of, you can, it's not engaging. It's not involving you with the rest of us that are doing this. That's not essential. But you are missing out on so much if you don't do that. Even if you don't like Facebook, I am exploring, almost as I speak, um, a Google community because I want to be able to deliver some Hangouts um, and that's the best way of doing it because it feeds into YouTube and, and so forth. So there is some flexibility in it, but I do think don't be too quick to perhaps dismiss the Facebook group. So let's 
Facebook. Okay, some people love it, some hate it, and some fit in the middle. I'm one of the ones in the middle. Um, but what we have here on Facebook is a closed group. So if you go to the if you go to the Facebook homepage and you're not a member of the group, you can search for the Book of Me, and the group will come up. It will show you there is a group, but it will not let you see who's in the group. You can't comment on the group and you can't read the posts. You have to request to join the group and I nip on and look and see. If there's somebody that I know or know of within the gene allergy world, um, that's fine. If they're people that I think won't, don't perhaps obviously fit the, the criteria and therefore they may be disruptive, I ping them off a quick email and say, hi, thanks for joining. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I've done that to three people um, and all three people came back to me and said, actually, I blog here. Um, and the minute they told me their blog, I thought, oh, yes, I know. Um, and they, they joined the group. The group is around sharing, but you can share as much or as little as you choose. Um, we have very few rules within this group, one of which is play nice. Um, face, what they said in Facebook stays in Facebook. I think that is so important. That's around mutual respect and there are 260 people currently within the group um, and I think that's important that if people do choose to say something and share something that we respect that they've chosen to do that and we accept that in good grace. Facebook is a really good medium for exchanging ideas and encouraging engagement and getting people involved and that's what's been so remarkable. I was completely blown away within the first two or three hours of people just really excited about the prompt and wanting to get involved and wanting to share um, and whilst that perhaps isn't suitable for everybody I think it's fabulous that some people are really that much engaged with it and really enjoying it you choose though how when and if you decide to contribute is there support for this journey absolutely there is there is the Facebook discussion group um, and you can come there and, and talk openly, make an observation, share whatever you want. If you don't wish to share within the group, you are quite within your rights to ping me a message on Facebook or you can drop me an email. Um, my email address is a little later in the presentation, otherwise you can find it on my blog. Encouragement. This is when we get to the flagging stage, a bit like you do in January when you wake up on the 1st of January full of good intentions of not eating chocolate biscuits and by the 3rd of January you've forgotten all about that and you're eating them by the packet. This is around encouragement to say stay the journey with us. 15 months is an awfully long time to commit but you can miss out prompts that perhaps you might not wish to participate in, that perhaps might not on the face of it appear relevant to you. Um, if you're starting to flag you can just kind of part that prompt and come back when perhaps you're feeling a bit more um, upbeat about it. You have a week to complete the prompt but the reality is if you don't complete the prompt within the week nobody's gonna know apart from you. Um, ideas, you can exchange ideas, the prompts are released, there's a prompt the essential prompt, so the current prompt, because I'm recording this at the end of week two, the current prompt is your birth. And I've given some ideas. Are you a tween? Did you have hair? How long were you? What did you weigh? Those aren't absolute prompts. You don't have to include all of those information. They are just little points that might get you on the way of your journey. But of course, as you're doing your book of me, you may think, actually, I can look at this. Let's include that. And they may be an idea that you can share with other people that may get them think, oh, yes, we could include that. So how do you write your book? However you want to write your book is fine. There's you can create a public blog. I have a public blog, anglusrest.net. I also have a private blog, which none of you can see. And that is where I respond to the prompt. So. As I release the prompts just after midnight, at around four o'clock in the afternoon UK time, my blog automatically publishes my responses. Now, I've already done my responses in my private blog, but what I'm releasing on my public blog is perhaps 
a section. In some cases, I may release all of it. It depends on the prompt, but I will release some of it so that you can see an example, a live example of what you can or can't or want to include. OK, blogging platforms. There is Blogger, which is my preferred blogging um, arena because I'm a Googler. I find it a much easier platform to work with. There's WordPress. Somebody on the group shared with us recently. I don't know who it is, so I'm afraid I can't give credit to them for that. But they shared that they're using Evernote. Um, and I'm guessing you could use OneNote. Actually, when I'm creating the prompt in terms of I'm brainstorming, I create them in OneNote. You can keep a handwritten journal and answer the prompts using your, you know, a nice pen in a, in a journal. Um, and wouldn't that be fabulous for future generations to actually see what your handwriting looks like? Um, just imagine how you would feel if you saw the handwriting of, a, of an ancestor from 100 years ago. That may be the emotions and feelings that your descendants will have. You can create a loose leaf file. You can be more creative, include photos, pictures, photocopies. I've done a combination of all of those. So I'm doing a private blog. I'm sharing some of it on my public blog. I do write a handwritten journal and I have done since I was 12. And what I did was I printed the whole detail on my private blog and then I added bits to it. So on the first week, it was describe who you are, how you see you in 20 different ways, um, one of which was professional. And as some evidence to that um, announcement, I showed my professional qualifications, my certificates. That's kind of nice for somebody in the future who may see on a census record um, what I did for a living. And they might not know what that means, what it involves. So that's something else that might or might not appear later on as we go through but you could do a combination and really it's around whatever you decide to do and whatever works for you there's no right are there any rules when there's no rules there's anarchy typically however this has to be I think the exception there are no rules the only rule there is about the one that you make about your book and I think this is the important thing to remember is this is your book about your life that you're leaving for your family. So it's very central to you driven. You have absolute control over sharing. Now, there's been a huge discussion on the Facebook page just recently around sharing. And no, you do not have to share. Absolutely, you do not. The prompts enable you to revisit memories and share your life, share what inspires, you know, what inspires you, what regrets do you have share all those bits all the things actually you wish you knew about your parents grandparents great grandparents aunts uncles you can compose your book however you like on or offline and you do not have to share you could quite happily take the prompts every week and not interact with any one of us that would be a real shame if you do that that is absolutely fine but it's a real shame if you don't perhaps have that um, that tap in to perhaps some more ideas and some just basic information. So the results. Well, at the end of this journey, 50 month epic journey, you will have built up an amazing portfolio of the data of your life. That is going to be a tremendous legacy to leave. This is your journey and you include what you want you decide you may find that when you come to actually pulling those individual blog prompts together that you might not want something to be included you may decide that you want to share the book with a descendant now so children grandchildren but there may be some bits that you want to archive perhaps at the back and um, for them to read them after you've gone you can have that decision that's yours to make um, but I think it's perhaps worth thinking about it, that this is your journey um, and I can't tell you what or what not to include. Your journey is only going to be as enlightening as the energy you put into creating it. 
so it's really around what you want to say about your life thank you for joining me on this quick presentation i hope we've covered off some of the main issues around background and then progressing through the journal if you still have some questions feel free to drop me an email at juliegoucher at gmail.com please please add book of me in the subject line i am shocking at emptying my inbox and every now and again i have a bit of a panic when i realize i've read and not deleted so if you have the book of me in subject line it filters into a folder and i pick them up fairly quickly thank you so much for joining me i hope you've enjoyed this presentation and i look forward to perhaps seeing you on a google hangout in the future thanks for taking part bye bye